Hi, this is Aki again from Aki's Garage. Welcome to another video. Video today is for BMW 5 Series uh, 520 diesel and uh, uh, this BMW is G30. Uh, I believe the per crossover on this vehicle is 188 if I'm not mistaken and it's automatic uh, diesel so uh, the customer complaint is uh, engine management light let me uh, just get in the car okay let me uh, just start the car as you can see we got working light here engine management light and we do have tire pressure as well so let's we get the hotel connect to the car and we do one quick diagnostic and then we go from there okay guys as you can see i connect my interface and this is my auto i just put the ignition on yeah just you need to press three times and the ignition comes on uh, this is the car I just do one quick diagnostic and just switch off the heater that's the chassis number okay as I said this, this is 5 series G30 520 X drive and yeah that's 2017 so let's see what we got here that's all the data we got here Let's we do one quick scan and we see how it goes. Alright, that's hundred percent. Let's we go here. So we do have uh office this go fold two F eight five hundred, which is so flap controller position sensor signal too low per minute i think this is a problem with the inlet manifold uh, it's got flaps inside and it's got one motor uh, what else we got here d d d d d d that's i think regarding the real electronic that's regarding the tpms i think well, I'm not worried about this, so the only thing I'm worried is the first one. Uh, I just report this. Okay, I just put the video here. Okay, close, close, and now. This we do on, uh, I go back to the DME again. This we go to live data. Now see the quest. So, so I just put lapse. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, let me just try to start the engine as you can see guys i got value minus 7.48 that shouldn't be like this it looks like the flaps stuck somewhere so let me go back go back again okay, put the ignition off ignition on again so yeah let's we if we try to erase the fault to see what happened turn the ignition off switch you turn the ignition by itself okay all right so is over reading the code 
as you can see guys we are still we get same full coat so what I'm gonna do yeah let's we switch on again let me read the code again yeah so definitely we got a problem with this let me I go open the bonnet and then switch off the ignition for now okay let's we let's we go under the bonnet and we see what's going on here get my light as you can see guys this is the engine let me just take the cover off put the cover somewhere here so as you can see guys this is the uh, let me just get the light this is the inlet manifold and this is the swivel uh, flaps uh, motor and the flaps is just all the way inside what I'm going to do I just try to take those two bolts out take the motor out and um, I see what's going on there I'm using T30, it's got three screw here. Ah, how it comes out. So, oh, this is completely, it's come out. Do you see what, what's going on here? You mm -hmm. can see here. Let's come out. Hmm. Maybe it's because this dash whole thing is just come out. Why? It looks like it's got pin here and those pin is broken. Hmm. That was a I think that was a problem, guys, because that one is come out and that, that's a problem. Obviously this one you just lock it like this and the other side which is you see guys is loose which is goes to the flaps I think that that's a problem guys what I'm going to do I'm going to maybe just clean that area and I see if I can do something about this let me maybe guys you can see inside as you can see guys here, if I can show you, let me get, this is the, where the flaps connect, I don't know you, you guys you can see here, yeah, the actual bar it goes here, and it just left that one up and down, obviously it's open the flaps and close the flaps. I think this is a problem because the other uh, other end it just come out and the actual motor is just turning and it doesn't get uh, like uh, it doesn't understand the flaps is open or closed so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to do something here uh, as you can see guys here is is got a little bit just right here got a little bit of space here and uh, once once the flaps try to open and close this boy just come out i'm trying to to just put uh, that low plastic just behind behind the uh, flaps bar to just make sure that uh, uh, make a little bit tight over there and it doesn't let the uh, what you call it doesn't let the uh, actual uh, uh, bar comes out uh, let me just zoom it maybe it's better I zoom a little bit if it just if that camera just help me to do video for you guys I think you guys you can see now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I already cleaned the area. I just try to 
screen a little bit more. Just getting the grease everything out. And let me just get the light here. And go down a little plastic here as well. Just clean this one as well. So just put a little bit super glue here. Come on. Yeah, just put a little bit super glue here. That plastic, I hope, is gonna make a little bit tie over there. And make my life be easy. Let me see if I can hold it here. Ooh. Just right. Oops, not here. Just right here. Just right here. I hope you guys understand what I mean. Let me just zoom up there. You guys, you can see here. I put the plastic here. So the plastic, hopefully, it does make a little bit tight that bar let me just go back you can see guys now if I try to take it off because there is a plastic it doesn't let the boy comes out before it was gap because obviously that that boy was is little bit very and weak so I think that's the best solution maybe I put another plastic on top the other one but I don't think so we do need so what I'm going to do I'm going to try to put the actual motor back and and try to see if I can get everything done just just one of those job you know to see if I can make it work let me just double check to just try to take the ball out yeah before it was very really easy it was coming out but now because I got that plastic it doesn't let the actual ball you can see guys it's, it's okay I think it's gonna do the job hopefully do the job and yeah let's I put the uh, motor bank and and we try it together we we'll see how it goes okay let's we go inside the car Hopefully that trick is going to do the job. The ignition is on. I'm going to do one for the scan. And you see, uh, finger cross, everything is going to be okay. Let me just sweep the chassis number again. Uh, okay, okay. Just do one full scan. So let me erase everything. Okay. So we don't have any fault here. Let me just start the engine. So the engine is start. Don't have any light. Let me I just go to the DME again. As you can see, we don't have any fault. Everything is good. So that's all good. OK. 
okay so you don't have any fault everything is nice green so I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope there is some information for someone and like always we do something else on the next video